Tonight at 5, the Indian River Lagoon is facing a new threat, microplastics. Yeah, just people litter everywhere. It's just bad. And new research says microplastic may be actually raining down into the lagoon where a lot of it stays. UCF researchers estimate there are more than a trillion pieces of microplastic in the Indian River Lagoon. Good evening, I'm Shannon Butler. Yeah, you said trillion. Trillion. Yeah, I'm Greg Wormuth. It's coming from near and far. A recent study confirms that the lagoon is a hot spot for these tiny plastic particles. Channel 9's Melanie Holt is live along the Indian River Lagoon in Cocoa, and Mel, researchers say more plastic is making its way into the lagoon every single day. They say that's because it's all around us. And even a light rain, these researchers say, is enough to carry those microplastics into the Indian River Lagoon. I got a couple of bags, you know, trash cans right there. It ain't hard to put it in, you know? But apparently a lot of people it is, you know? There's more than fish in the Indian River Lagoon. A recent study from UCF researchers found microplastics in the air are raining down into the Indian River Lagoon at levels higher than you might think. 1.4 trillion pieces of plastic are in the surface waters of the whole lagoon wide. But and we've been spending years trying to figure out, OK, well, where is it coming from if it's not coming from stormwater drains um, or any other runoff kind of thing? UCF marine biologist Dr. Linda Walters says the answer is atmospheric deposition and those particles falling back to Earth include microplastics. The problem isn't unique to the Indian River Lagoon. But Dr. Walters told us there are some factors that make this estuary particularly susceptible to accumulated microplastics. But Dr. Walters told us there are some factors that make this estuary more susceptible to accumulated microplastics. Since there is very limited circulation in many places in the lagoon, the plastics that get in the water are uh, most likely going to get trapped there. And work themselves right up the food chain. It is in us. I mean, there's just there's just no question about that. It's a matter of is it making us sick or not. And that has not been officially documented. And imagine this researchers said they found about 20 different types of microplastics here along the Indian River Lagoon. Dr. Walters also told us because it's so plentiful in our environment, really more research needs to be done on this topic. We're live here in Coco. Melanie Holt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, such a beautiful stretch of water, at least above, below there's a problem. We recently told you about some major concern as well for dolphins there in the IRL. Scientists found brain damage in the marine mammals similar to Alzheimer's. Researchers from several different Florida institutions say a toxin from harmful algae blooms could be to blame. The study could also be a warning sign for humans as well because toxins build in the environment that we all share.